is nearly New Year and I thought it'd be fun to draw something along that theme. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a couple of glasses of wine like this. Now I'll be drawing this with polychromos pencils on Bristol board paper. I'll pop in the description all of the materials I'll be using. This is quite a nice simple drawing. There's not a huge variety of colours or textures that we need to worry about. So let's get started. Now because these wine glasses have a lot of dark patches and dark detail on them, I'm going to start here with quite a dark colour, this is dark sepia. It's not my absolute darkest colour I'll be using in this drawing, but I can just use this colour to begin marking everything out and it's going to kind of give me a template that I can then work off of. Now I'm not trying to be perfectly precise with this, I'm really just trying to mark out the main areas so that it makes my life a little bit easier when I come to adding other colours. The main thing I want to be doing here is firstly making sure I've got a nice sharp pencil. That helps me to be really accurate with where I'm putting the pencil. I also want to work very lightly and I can gradually build up the intensity of the colour a little bit later on. I don't want to be going in full force hard with the pencil at the very beginning. I want to allow myself to be able to make changes if I need to. So I'm blocking in the main shapes around the edge of the wine glasses as well as the wine glass stems and I'm also marking in some of the key shapes in the splashes at the top. And now it's a bit easier to see what I'm working with. So from here I want to start adding in some colour and I want to start with the absolute lightest colour that I can see within the drawing. So because the wine glass on the left is a glass of red wine, I can see a lot of uh, sort of pinky tone in the glass where it's a reflection from that red wine. So I'm going to add in my absolute lightest pink and just lightly shade this in the glass. Now I want to be doing this very lightly on the left hand side. And I'm also going to put this color anywhere where I can see red, so the red wine. I also want to make sure this goes down nice and smooth so I'm using circular motions for this rather than just going back and forth with the pencil and that leads to a much more uniform colour. So I can go over all of the area where the red wine will be and also everywhere where the red wine splashes. From here I also want to be adding in the lightest colour I can see in the white wine section and here I'd say it's because it's such a light colour I'm wanting to use more like a light grey. So I'm going to use a light warm grey and once again just mark in the main sections I can see on this side. So that's a lot of the wine at the bottom of the glass and there is a few patches towards the top again as a reflection in the glass of that wine. From here I want to be looking for any other light colours I can see and I'm going to add here more like a cool grey. I can see a lot of this cool grey particularly made up around the edges of the wine glass. So just want to lightly add that in. And then from here I want to gradually work my way up through the colours. So I want to begin by adding in a bit more of a red on the wine itself. I am doing this with quite a light reddish pink colour and I'm also pressing very lightly. I do really want to be building this up gradually. I still don't want to be going in really hard with the colour at this point. And just once again marking in a lot of the shapes that I can see within the wine. I don't need to make it perfect at this point though, I just want to be getting in the key shapes that I can then build upon with darker colours. Anywhere that is much darker than this colour I can just put a smooth even coverage down again, so particularly towards the right hand side of the glass. I also want to be going over all of the splash and it is much darker around the edges of the splash and lighter towards the middle. So I don't want to be putting a lot in the middle but I do want to be building up a lot of the shapes I can see around the outside. From here I can move on to a darker red and once again I only want to be putting this on the dark red areas, anywhere that is dark red or darker and this is just helping me gradually build up this colour. Now I am at this point starting to add in some of the details, but I don't need it to be perfect at this point. This is still about sort of building up a template and marking everything out roughly. I don't want to forget the lighter glass, so I am going to add in a bit of a darker warm gray, just marking in a lot of the shapes I can see within here. I haven't really marked in a great deal at this point. And there's a lot of lines within the wine glass and there is the odd bubble you can see in the bottom. 
Now from here, I have built up a nice and clear template. So at this point, I can start to be a bit more confident about adding in some darker colors. I can really start to see where they need to be. So I'm going to go back to the dark sepia and I am pressing quite a bit firmer here. Now I still want to make sure that I have a sharp pencil because I am being very precise on where I need to put this color. And I'm really taking my time over this. I want to make sure that I mark everything out as well as I can before it's all been quite rough but because I am pressing quite a bit firmer with this pencil I do want to try and get the details correct. Now I'm putting this colour either anywhere where I can see a very dark grey or a black. I'm also putting this in the red section for example anywhere where I want it to be a darker red. So the red that I used earlier is the darkest red I have in my set, but there is some areas within this wine that needs to be even darker than that. So if I lightly put some of the dark sepia in these areas, then in a little while I can go over it with a dark red and that will make these parts look like a very dark red rather than this kind of gray. So I'm once again gonna work my way over the whole of the drawing and it's really defining everything. And from here, it's much clearer to see the areas that need brightening up with other colors now. So I can add to the base layers I've already put down. So I can start off by adding a little bit more color to my white wine section. At the moment, there is just gray here. I want to be adding in some of a, almost a very light brown. But I want to do this so, so lightly over the top of what I've already got. I don't want to be going in hard here because I don't want it to look like brown wine. So I'm lightly shading over the top to just adjust that color. And adding that in has made me see that I need to add a bit more of a cool gray just to further add a bit of shading around the edges of the glasses and particularly on the stems. From here, I want to slightly adjust that color a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in with the warm gray and just add that over the top of where I put that brown a second ago. And from here, I think the most obvious thing that needs adjusting is the red section needs brightening up a fair bit. So I'm going to go relatively firmly over the top of the red section with this quite bright red. I'm looking closely for if there's any areas that don't need to be this bright, and I'm making sure that I either go lightly over those areas or in avoid them entirely. And from there, I also want to be deepening down some of the darker red sections. So I'm once again going to use a dark red over the top of here, just anywhere that needs deepening down a tiny bit more. And you can see that a lot of the areas where I put the dark sepia now look like a dark red. So now I'm looking for any final colors that need adding. So for example, some of the pink sections that I drew right at the very beginning, I want to go back over the top of those once again with this pink. They kind of look a bit white in comparison to everything else now. And I can also see a little bit of purple on the left hand side of the glass. So I want to be adding that in. And I can also see a little bit of brown on the glass on the right and a little bit of purple on the glass on the left. So I want to add that in as well. And then the absolute last thing I want to do is deepen down a couple of areas one last time. So I am at this point now going to use the black, but I only want to use this on the absolute darkest areas. So the odd line within the glass, there is quite a lot that needs adding to the glass on the right. A lot of that needs to be quite a bit deeper. And I once again don't want to forget the stems. And that is it. All right, and that is it. If you'd like to draw these glasses of wine with me, they are available on my Patreon, as well as over 150 hours of other tutorials. Every drawing includes the reference photo, sketch outlines, and swatches of all of the colors I'll be using. And there is detailed instructions so that you know what you're doing. Check out the link in the description. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys and I'll see you in the next one.